What's going on everybody? It's Kevin. Not only do I do this uh, as a hobby, I also work full time in a retirement community as a, an EMT and I work part time as a first responder. I just got done working my three days at my, my full time job. And two out of those three days, within 24 hours of each other, we had a CPR on my shift. Um, no, they did not make it. One was a drowning. The other one was just, I guess it's time to go. Anybody um, in this field that does anything medically, even dispatchers, um, and they have to take that call and walk people through that process or an emergency process, it's never easy. Anybody that tells you otherwise is fooling themselves. For first responders, uh, fire, EMS, PD, military veterans, even emergency dispatchers, there is help out there. Uh, from first-hand experience, I'm typically not that emotional of a person. If you don't talk about it with a professional, with others that are in your field, it's going to eat you alive. There are stories of what can happen if you don't let it out. Like my manager said to me, you have to be vulnerable. vulnerable vulnerable to heal and it's true we need to check up on each other we need to make sure each other is good that's enough about that sorry to, to be a downer um this was just uh, a real moment and i just wanted everybody who watches this, who's been through it, to know, be vulnerable, get the help, you're not weak. Peace.